Hi, my name is Lindsay Ruber, and it's fall here in Connecticut, which made me think of creating a little lesson on a maple leaf in the applique form. We can do this in our 6D software by using a design that we already have in the software. So the first thing I'd like you to do is open your 6D embroidery system and click on 6D Embroidery Extra. Then we go down to the bottom. The third icon from the left is Stitch Editor Plus. In Stitch Editor Plus, we want to set some settings so we can tell the software when and how we want to do things here. So first we're going to tell it what size hoop we want. And I've selected the 6D Creative Vision for my hoop machine. And the hoop I'm going to use for this lesson is 120 by 120 in the vertical position. When you have those two selected, click on OK. I would like your screen to look as much like mine, what you see in the hoop, as possible. So for that reason, we're going to go up and click on Preferences and change the settings there. The only area that I'm concerned with right now is the grid size, because that's going to affect how your screen will look. Make sure it's 5 millimeters. If it's not, go up or down until you reach that 5 millimeter setting by using the up and down arrows. Once you have the 5 millimeters, click on OK. Now we have to try to find our design that I said was already in our 6D embroidery. And the way we're going to find it is by clicking on this little blue view designs icon. Now I've already opened it up to the maple leaf, which is the design we're going to be working on. But for you to find it, you would click on the little three little dots on the right here where my arrow's pointing it pops up a screen of the directory for your entire computer. Your design is probably going to be found under My Documents. Scroll down until you find 6D Embroidery, which I found here. Next is Samples. And if you don't have a drop-down area and a minus here, and you have a plus instead, you would just click on that plus to open up the drop-down selections. So from samples, we're going to go to Stitch 2. Same thing applies. If you have a plus there, you want to click on it. So you get this small list. And we're going to choose Leaves and say OK. That brings up this screen into your software. The first one is the Fall Maple Leaf. Just left click on that once to bring it into our 6D Stitch Editor Plus screen. And you may close out of the directory browser by clicking on the viewer icon or on the X at the top of the small screen. Here we have the design that we're going to work with. Now, Right now, it's just an embroidery design. It has fill stitches. It has some detail with the stem and the veining of the leaves. But the first thing we're going to do is make it larger. So we have to select our design. And if you select your design by using the Make Block from Visible Area, or Control-A, sometimes it works for Control-A, and sometimes it doesn't. That's why I'm pointing out both ways of getting there. I'm going to click on the Make Block from Visible Area once, and you'll see that I have white handles around it. If you have blue handles, that's a good thing, because that's what we want to do is get blue handles around our selection box to tell us that we want to resize this design. We want to keep the stitch integrity of the design and not have the stitches fall apart just because we enlarged it. So we're going to click once on Resize until you have a yellow background showing on the Resize tool at the top and the blue markers around the handles of your selection box. Next, we're going to click and drag it to the 11 line 
between 10 and 11, between 10 and 11, or the first line you see within the square. And then we're going to just click and drag the lower right corner until that's also in about the 11 line on both of the bottom corner. So here we have the design in the size that we want to work on. We don't want to make it more than that because we want to have room around the edge of this entire design to have a satin stitch border stitch out. And we don't want to finish this design and then have the software tell us when we go to save it that it's too big for the hoop. So do yourself a favor, even if you have to go back and click to resize it again down to the 11 mark and not over it, and you'll be fine. It can be a little inside the 11, but please don't go outside. We want to leave a little wiggle room for that satin stitch border. 